Hello peoples, uh, in this video I'm going to talk you through how to code your BBC microbit so that it works as a moisture sensor. One thing that you will need is obviously the microbit and the attachment uh, using the prongs and you also need screws that go in on pin 1, 3 volt and the ground symbol. So make sure those pins are attached properly with screws. Later when you come to upload the code you'll need to plug it in using a micro USB cable and you'll notice the code is being uploaded by a flashing orange light. So how do you go about coding it itself? Well it's all on the internet so what you should do is just go on uh, Google and if you type in micro bit coder it will take you to a web link like this one let's code BBC micro bit so you need to click on that and then you're going to click make code editor. Now as I start working through this, please pause, rewatch, copy everything I do. You're then going to click New Projects and you're going to call it Moisture Sensor, for example, and then Create. Now, this will open up the coding program and uh, you'll notice that it's in blocks mode. So, this is what we're going to use a very simple method of coding. We don't need this on start box, so we're just going to delete that. The first step for you to do, uh, as I said, copy everything I do, is click on variables. And we're going to click make a variable and then we're going to call it moisture. Because what the uh, program will do is it can detect whether there's a high voltage or a low voltage and we, <clears throat> by the presence of water. So we're going to call that um, as moisture. And then you're going to click on this set moisture to box. Click and you're going to drag it and it just drops straight into there. Uh, right, <clears throat> next step, we need to set a pin. Uh, so if you click on now advanced and scroll down, you'll see something called pins. So I'm gonna click on that. And I want the box that says analog read pin, that one there. I'm gonna click and drag, and where it says zero, it's gonna slot in there. And we need this on pin one, P1. So copy everything I've just done. <clears throat> Remember, you can go back if you need to. Now we need to click on logic, and we're going to go with this box here if true, then. Okay, and what we're going to do is we're going to click on this and we're going to go below set and put that in there. Um, now, what this allows us to do is um, get the microprocessor to think like if something happens, then what is the consequence of that? We're going to click on logic again and we're going to scroll down. I'm going to go for this second comparison box and I'm going to click and drag this to where it says true. Uh, in this box here, we want the variable to be moisture. So click on variable and moisture. It's, it's, it does jump around a bit. <clears throat> and on this middle box, we want this uh, less than or equal to symbol. Okay, and we're going to write in here 300. Now what that means is if the moisture has a low voltage reading of 300, then we want that the um, um, herb marker to tell us with a sad face. So I'm gonna click on basic, show LEDs and drag this here. And if you then click on the boxes in the center, you can draw a smiley face. So that is now what the micro bit will show. As you can see on the right, it actually starts to show you how it how it would look in uh, in reality. <clears throat> okay, now I, I want to know if there's a medium about of, uh, moisture, what should the face do? So I'm going to go back into logic. I'm going to choose this box again. If true, then I'm going to click and drag here. And again, if I go back into logic and go comparison, this second one, remember there. Again, variables, click on moisture, move that to that zero there. Again, if I'm going too quick, you pause, go back and rewatch. And again, we want the less than or equal to symbol. And now instead of 300, we're going to change this to 600. And what this is saying is if the moisture level is uh, less than or equal to a reading of 600, and it's out of 1,024, I think. So it's about if it's got a medium level of moisture, then we want the LEDs to do something else. So we click on basic, 
show LEDs, drag this here, and now click on the dots and it will give you a sort of neutral face. Finally, otherwise, if we click on basic, show LEDs, click and drag this here, and give it a smiley face. So what our code is now doing is it's registering if there's a low voltage reading of moisture, there's a sad face. If there's a sort of medium amount of moisture present, then it gives us this sort of intermediate neutral face. And if there's a high voltage, it will be a smiley face. One thing I do need to add, um, which is in basic at the very end, if I scroll down, is pause. Drag this between the two plus symbols and change this reading to 2500 milliseconds. What that means is that the um, micro bit will go on a loop now as uh, so every two and a half seconds it will be detecting um, what the moisture level is. If it was doing it too quickly, then the face would change very rapidly potentially. So we don't want that. So pause uh, and that uh, 2500, that now is all done. So I'm happy with that. I check my code over, make sure it's all correct. Now all you do is you click download and um, the file will pop up there. I'm going to close this box. Now, if you go to your computer, so uh, in the downloads box, you'll see the code there. And all you need to do uh, is, um, uh, excuse me, <clears throat> also, if I copy that, control C, and go into the micro bit, which is already plugged in, and control V, it pastes it across. I could even click and drag it, and in less than a minute, the code has been dropped onto the moisture sensor. There it is. Um, so if if I go back now, what you will see is when it's uploading, is you get an orange light, and then you can start plugging it in with a battery connector to see if your coding works properly. All right, best of luck. As I said, if you need to, pause and go back and rewatch.